Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Uh, finally, it's the end of the KVK, end of the season of Stripe and as always we are going to check which kind of artifacts performed amazingly and we are going to try to understand which artifacts you guys are should go for because well artifacts are a big portion of pvp in call of dragons and if you have a correct artifact attached uh, to your legion then you already did half of the creation of a good legion to get a lot of merits right and as always we are going to try to make tier list uh, for the best artifacts in this game to average to the worst one uh, the s tier will be the artifacts which will be the best for the uh hero for the troop type like for example uh, for the archers for mages for cavalry and for infantry after that a tier b c d and the gathering artifacts so i think it's time for us to start diving inside which artifacts are the best one and which artifacts you should start investing in right and yeah i'm going to start with the archer's artifact because as an archer player i love this artifact i wish i have it but unfortunately still i don't have it and that's of course galded crossbow right the best merit farmer artifact in the whole game especially if you are running magroth and zaida with the galded crossbow you are going to have a huge amount of merits doesn't really matter who is your opponent right so i think it's a correct place for this artifact the best artifact in terms of uh, merits and the additional effect which this artifact has uh, it's a skill uh, hp bypass it's actually amazing especially with the enemies who has high hp right so first artifact for the S tier, Galded Crossbow, here we go, right? The Mirage Orb should be the best artifact for the mages, right? Especially the additional effect, which is a, a skill damage factor increase when you are dealing debuff to enemy. That's pretty good, right? And especially for the Bertrand and Tohar Hero Pair, you are going to have additional 27% maximum skill damage factor, which is pretty huge, right? You are going to deal amazing amount of uh, damage to your enemies, and that's why I think it's just simply the best one. Plus, you are going to use this artifact on almost every single mage uh, hero pair, right? And the next one, we are going to speak regarding the cavalry artifact, and this is the newest artifact for cavalry players which is of course wolf horn holder right like sometimes when you look at the attributes like defensive attributes but the one attacking you might say that it's a bad one but actually this defensive stance gives a cavalry hero pair a lot of survivability which they are lacking and that's what makes this artifact great plus the skill which is really really amazing 2.2k physical damage Plus the bleed, and I think in Call of Dragons, especially fighting against tier 5s, bleeds and poisons are dealing quite a good damage to the enemies, right? So, if you are a cavalry player, I'm pretty sure you want to have uh, Tobin and Urag with this artifact, then you are going to be really, really happy about it, right? So, right now, it's time for us to say the best artifact for infantry players. I understand these two artifacts just came out, Taintless Wings and the Shield for the Dunfell, but I still think that Spiritbone Torque is the best artifact for uh, the infantry players. Goresh and Skullgul is still rocking, still best hero pair in terms of defense and in terms of survivability, and Spiritbone Torque, and plus the skill of this artifact, which is taunting five enemy legions, plus the HP bonuses which his artifact has. Well, it's still the best artifact for infantry, in my opinion. And the one last artifact which I should be putting on a S tier simply because it's just too fun to play with this artifact, right? And I'm of course speaking about the uh, the staff of the prophet, magic unit HP, legion HP. But what's the most important? The toward of the light, where you are able to teleport your legions and your friendly alliance members to your designated area, is simply great, right? It's just too much fun. You can have a lot of amazing strategies. You can even win wars, and you can even have like a lot of fun activities in Call of Dragons with this artifact. 
That's why I'm going to put this stuff here because it's simply great. It should be S tier and I'm really happy with my S tier artifacts. I think these artifacts are the best ones so far in the game and let's see in the future it might change, right? The A tier is really, really interesting. Like way before Infernal Flame was the S tier, but right now it's on A tier because I think Infernal Flame itself is an amazing artifact, but only for Lilia hero pairs, because, and that's why it's quite limited, right? You can't use Infernal Flame with every single Mage Legion, that's why it's not any more S tier, it should be A tier. But the artifact which you can actually use with every single Mage hero pair is Phoenix Eye, and sometimes I even like Phoenix Eye more than Infernal Flame because of the usage because you, you, you can simply use this artifact with every single mage hero pair, right? The next um, artifact for archers, Heart of Kamasi, especially amazing for normal attackers, such as Sinjon and Fragor, such as Magroth and Zaida, and well, basically, that's the archer hero pairs, which are the most popular and most strongest. That's why, like, even especially if you have uh, Heart of Kamasi level 5, the amount of additional buffs you are getting from this artifact is just, just too much, right? 30% normal attack damage bonus and 30% physical attack bonus. That's just the too high of the numbers to miss mm -hmm. out, so if you guys are going to play with the archers, especially normal attackers, you want to have Heart of Kamasi in your arsenal, right? And yeah, we are of course going to move uh, move uh, with the next artifact, which is of course Dragon Scale Armor, guys. Come on, uh, it's been uh, the, one of the best artifacts for infantry players, simply because of the HP buffs. I love HP buffs. I think HP buffs, like hit points buffs, are the best bonuses in the whole game. But the one bad thing about Dragon Scale Armor, why it's not S tier, because of the skill. I understand the shielding is great, but you kind of want to have something more fleshy, something more important. That's why I'm going to put Dragon Scale Armor on A tier, and I think it's of course better than uh, Heart of Kamasi, right? A Grey Mare's Warhammer, uh, well, one more infantry artifact, which I think is quite good uh, defensive stats, but the skill is, of course, offensive. It's stunning the enemies for 4 seconds. Uh, it's not that popular, it's not that great, but it's, of course, quite good. It shouldn't be B tier. Grey Mare's Warhammer's place is, of course, A tier. I'm not going to, uh, well, um, Deathless Wines should be here, uh, simply because of the HP buffs, which I love in infantry artifacts. And of course, I'm going to put the newest artifact, which is for Darnfell. And so far, I'm not going to speak much about these ones, because I still want to check how they are going to perform in the game, right? And yeah, I hope it will be fine, and I hope everything... Uh, these artifacts are going to be pretty good because this this plus wine is actually gettable from the normal keys in universal artifacts, right? Uh, the um, another artifact which I should be putting on an A tier without the question is of course Rattle Spear. Right? Rattle Spear sub like before was of course S tier, but simply because you kinda have to stand still while using skill of the Rattle Spear. An enemy can actually attack you, that's what makes this artifact quite bad, right? So, that's the reasoning behind why Rattle Spear is not S tier anymore, and it's even like sometimes even B tier, right? Um, I think that should be it. Besides, one artifact which I'm missing is Spring Blades. Spring Blades is still great. Um, I think Spring Blades should be the uh, one of the best artifacts for the uh, cavalry uh, players because how much merit you can actually get uh, by using this artifact and that's why I think it deserves to be uh, standing here and of course one more reason because you can actually use it with almost every single cavalry hero pair right and yeah I hope you guys are uh, having fun with spring blades the B tier is quite interesting I think in a B tier uh, there is a couple of artifacts which are quite interesting. Kingslayer, for example. There were a time where Kingslayer was the best cavalry artifact, but that's not the time anymore. And I think that's why it should be on a beat. Uh, Goldcrest, well, unfortunately, Sindrin and Fragar is not that amazing anymore. And uh, that's why I think Goldcrest kind of lost the touch and lost the 
importance in the game, right? Wireless bow is quite good and I'm going to put kind of on the same tier HP bonuses on a wireless bow and uh, uh, that's the simple reason why I think wireless bow can be usable plus you kind of have silence in a skill of the wireless bow where you can actually silence your enemies by using the artifact, right? Uh, Shadow Blades, one more artifact for archers, which is gettable from Universal Keys, and I like Shadow Blades because you can use Shadow Blades with every single archer hero pair. Even if normal attacker, even if it's a skill damage user, I think Shadow Blades will be great with almost everything, right? Visage of the Sanctums, I'm going to put on a B tier, not even an, on a first place, right? And I'm going to put... Uh, like this village of the sanctums. I'm pretty sure it's not it's not has a high usage It's not that effective and I think that more offensive artifacts are way better uh, For the flying units right and that's simple fact in mean rest of the Jorgentis is great um, uh, debuffer defense reduction uh, Plus attributes are attacking and it's quite good, right? That's why I'm going to put the rest of the Jorgentis on a B tier, uh, especially for mages, attack attributes are more and more better and better. And yeah, finally, we are already going to the C tier, and on the C tier, I'm going to put Fang of Ashkari, the best defensive artifact for the beginners, which I think almost every single beginner have used in the game, Sorland's Blade, which is the weaker version of Kingslayer, basically lower numbers and same style, Tear of Arbon, which is more of a defensive artifact for mages, but I like the healing, that's why I think um, healing with the, because you can heal your ally members, it gives a lot of survivability to the PvP and the war, right? And uh, the one more cavalry artifact with blink should be here in my opinion. Um, but I like about this artifact Storm Arrows that it has a attacking bonuses, which is quite good. And yeah, I think these four artifacts are gettable from universal uh, keys, from normal keys. That's why I think they are quite good. Uh, Storm Oath of the Storm Peak, the artifact for Forondil, not that good. Um, the clone skill is not that impressive. I think even Kingslayer, even Swordlands Blade is sometimes better than Stormspeak, that's why it will be on the last step, right? And two artifacts, which is, um, well, I think the one of the worst artifacts for infantry players are Spring of Silence and Dragon Rift, right? Uh, the reason why I think they are the worst artifacts for infantry, because they are offensive artifacts, both attributes are attack attributes, and if you are going to attach the only attack attributes to your infantry hero pair, trust me, they are going to be demolished, they will die really, really soon, and I think you are going to miss out so much uh, when you are not using defensive artifacts, right? Remember, on infantry, get artifacts with HP bonuses and defensive bonuses, right? If you are going to attach Dragon Rift or Spring of the Silence, you are going to die in a matter of seconds. That's the honest truth, which I'm going to always tell you guys, right? And these rally artifacts, these garrison artifacts, um, are pretty weak. That's why I'm going to put them here. Even the March Speed artifact is quite weak, right? And the last three artifacts, which are for farming, farming for darklings, farming for resources. And that's the tier list, which I'm quite happy regarding of course, S tier artifacts are the best artifacts in the game for the every single legion type, archers, mages, cavalry, and infantry. On A tier, I think these artifacts are are close to be S, but not that that uh, powerful to be S. Uh, and yeah, uh, plus the A tier artifacts are like kind of popular artifacts, which is having a lot of usage in the PvP, right? B tier artifacts are artifacts which was once A tier but lost the touch, lost the importance. C tier artifacts, kind of more of a secondary artifacts if you don't have B and A tier. And I think D tier is the worst artifacts in the game, which has a really, really low amount of usage. And whenever you are getting any of these artifacts in the game, you are really, really unhappy, right? So as always guys i'm really interested what you think about my tier list 
Um, as always, share your opinions, share your ideas, and tell me how do you like the tier list in general, right? Um, as always, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game. Uh, and yeah, um, guys, I need to say that again, I'm, I'm running the Discord server. If you want to have a small library about Call of Dragons and every single details put on a uh, every single like a library, like a book, you're gonna go to the Discord channel of this of my Discord channel, and it will be easier for you to look the uh, content which you want to find, right? And uh, before I'm putting my videos on public, you can at first see it on the Discord channel. That's why I'm always I always want you to guys to not miss out on the information which is important. And as always, I wish everybody amazing morning, night, and day, wherever you are. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.